Welcome to part two of my laser review video. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Algo Laser sent me their 22 watt Alpha. I had a good play with it on the day I got it, but since then I have been desperate to get back out in the garage. One thing I promised to do was put it through its paces. Last time I made a key ring, basic engraving, cutting of six mil. Today, we're gonna see what this bad boy can do. Let's go. I would have liked to start this review even sooner, but unfortunately, I haven't had a shave in a while. So, I just thought I'd spruce up a little for you guys. <laughs> so, what's the theme of this video? Well, number one, I'm reviewing the laser, but you already know if you saw the last video, I love it to bits. The other thing that I want to do today is figure out can you make profit by buying this machine? Now, yes, it's gonna cost you a bit, but little things like this, you can take to a craft fair or car boot in the UK, which coincidentally, I've got one booked in in about a month's time. So today, I'm gonna to see if I can streamline some of the things I plan to make and see whether this can actually pay for itself. Got a little beard comb. Do my moustache. So beard cones are all very cool and everything, but what's really cool is opening a beer with custom beer bottle openers. Now, that project took hours and hours and hours of my time. Gluing up the wood, sourcing the wood, that wasn't the problem. It was cutting those unique shapes and then having to round over the corners. Like, it made me enjoy the final part of sanding because the profiling took forever. I approached it with a router, with the table saw, and eventually landed with the jig on the miter saw. If this bad boy can cut through wood, real wood, not just plywood, that would be a game changer. Now, Algo say that it can cut through 20 millimeters of white oak in a single pass, and I would love to put that to the test, but I'm a peasant woodworker. And again, I'm approaching this review from the point of an amateur. As an amateur, you might have the odd off cut of pallet wood, which is what I've got. So this bit's got nail holes in and everything. However, I'm gonna use this as my test piece. Now I'm going to do a slow run through at a very slow pace, but maximum power to see if I can cut a shape, could be any shape, this is a test, out of this in one pass. However, I know from using lasers a little bit, whenever you do anything in one pass, high power, low speed, it causes a lot of scorching. Now the beauty of this laser being stupidly accurate is that I should be able to do multiple passes on my second shape without getting any of that scorch or burn. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up two identical shapes, one low speed, high power, and the other one, bit faster multiple passes. I'll bring you back when it's on. Okay, moment of truth. They've not fallen out. However, you can see here, ignore this part here, because that's where there was a nail hole. And because of the amount of exposure, that has actually burnt quite a bit. But if you look closely, you can see that actually there's a lot of scorching, a lot of burning. You lose that perfect shape that I'm looking for. And more importantly, despite it being a lot slower, that one won't push through. Now I could slow it down more, but I would get more of this charring. This one, 
you'll have to ignore the engraving, that was a user error. This one does push through, apart from the fact that I've uh, left a little bit of exposed nail in this. So the lasers actually hit the nail and that's the part where it's connected there. But, okay, ignoring the, uh, the nail part where the nail's been driven through and the laser hasn't cut through it. Stupid laser, why can't you cut through big thick steel nails? Um, ignoring that part, look how clean and crisp that circle is being cut out. And if I show you head on, you cannot see any of the charring. That charring around the outside is purely from the laser cutting through. The wood hasn't burned, and that's because I did it in two passes. For information, this is 16 mil thick. It's some kind of hardwood, I don't know what it is, but it's certainly not pine, it was heavy. So 16 mil, I did two passes, at three millimeters a second, 100% power. And cutting this out with the two passes took way less time than the slower pass and you get that clean, crisp edge. Just look at the edge on that. And if I'm showing you square on, you can't see any of that char. That's purely on the outside. I'm blown away. I'm never going to use this machine for cutting thicknesses like this. Like, I'll never do it. But if you're planning to take over the world, knowing that you've got the power, that's key. Now, I've got one little project in mind. I'm going to make a prototype sign that I've been thinking about doing for a while. I'm going to make it small scale, just as proof of concept to see if it'll work. But as soon as I got this laser... The thought running through my mind was, can I take a small sheet of material, can I be efficient, and can I make a sign that's 3D? Let's see. So you might be able to see on the screen, I've got my logo to engrave, but I've already done that. This time I'm going to try and make some cuts. The idea is that the outer part of the logo will have lettering that is etched on, with the inner part being cut out separately so that I can then stick that on top with some spacers. I've got a few ideas, but this is what gets me excited about this laser. It's the creativity. With a bit of planning in one file, I can press play and then according to this, about nine minutes later, I will have all of the parts cut out. Something like this. When I made my sign up here, it took half a day. This will take nine minutes, maybe, if I've got all my calculations right. We'll soon find out. So nine minutes have passed. Let's see what we've got. Falling out is a good sign. So I've done my outside there and I've done a 30% power burn because I didn't just want it engraved, I want it kind of divoted in because I'm hoping with this being ply that there'll be a different type of wood species underneath because this is just veneered with hardwood in theory. Then, I mean, look at the details on the edges. If you've seen my logo, it's not a perfect circle in the middle. It's got these little jagged bits and it has got that. And then... It's a snug fit because this laser is just too accurate. Come on. My little BS. So the idea is that this is done in layers. And the theory is that I can stack these layers and potentially without much wood wastage, make a little 3D logo. If it works for this tiny piece with scrap, then I might do it with a bigger piece. Give me a minute though. I finished it. <laughs> now, this was just an experiment. It was just me playing with the laser once again, which is pretty much all I've done since I've got this thing. But that, 
is a proof of concept. I wanted to create something 3D with tears. And that just made it so easy. I just let it run for nine and a half minutes. And then I've put a bit of Danish oil and spray painted that black, bit of CA glue to stick things together. And you get this cool 3D tiered effect. Now, this application for me, I'm thinking about making signs and art for the house and things like that. And that is where I get excited about this laser. Don't get me wrong, it's an incredibly powerful laser and it's the most powerful 22 watt laser you can buy. But for me, the real key is in the accuracy and things are so accurate with this laser and it just continues to amaze me. One of the things that I am going to do is find a permanent home in my shop. I'm gonna get a honeycomb mat that actually fits the laser so I can work with material that's bigger than this. And I'm just gonna be pumping stuff out, ready to use, ready to sell, things for the house, things to sell at craft fairs. I love it. It's a laser with the key to destruction. If you wanna get yourself one of these lasers, then check out the link in the description below. There's a link straight to the site where you can buy one. And unless 300 have been sold already, the first 300 orders get a free honeycomb mat that's actually big enough to fit this whole thing, bigger than the one I've got. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.